Osteoporosis means weakened bones. Last month I made a video on this and you all commented saying tell us about the various medicines that are available to treat this condition and today we'll be talking about that. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Manan Vora. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a sports medicine doctor. At the end of today's video, you will be having all the information that you need about various types of medical treatment options for osteoporosis. So you will have all the knowledge to take to your orthopedic doctor and make an informed decision. Let's get started. Before I begin, if you still don't know what osteoporosis is or whether you have it, make sure to watch part 1 of this video. You will get a complete idea about the entire disease condition. Now, let's get to today's video which talks about the various medicine options. The first one is bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates work by slowing down the breakdown of bone, thus preventing fractures. So here you have your allodronic acid, ebandronic acid, zoledronic acid or risedronate. These come in tablets or injectable form based on which one you need and the schedule depends on them. Most commonly given is the alendronate which is the weekly pill. It is given once a week when you wake up. You have to take it on an empty stomach and for 30 minutes you have to make sure you don't lie down as you can have stomach issues. Now these medicines take at least 6 to 12 months to actually show an effect and you may need to take it for years. So yes, it is a long duration medication. Minor side effects are possible like an esophageal irritation or even certain stomach issues. The second kind of medicine is SERM, Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. A commonly used one is Raloxifene which is an SERM commonly used with postmenopausal women. What this does is it mimics estrogen's positive influence on bone health and significantly reduces the chances of spinal fracture. Certain side effects of this medicine include hot flashes, leg cramps or a slightly increased risk of developing blood clots. The third option is biological medicines and that is where denosumab comes in. Denosumab has recently become a great choice for orthopedic doctors to treat osteoporosis. Denosumab works by slowing down bone loss and increasing bone growth. It is given by an injection mode just under under the skin once every six months. Certain side effects include some muscle pain, joint discomfort, skin rashes or even constipation. And the last option that exists is parathyroid hormone. This is called as teriparatide. These are daily injections taken subcutaneously and they have to be taken for at least 12 to 18 months for an effect to be seen. What teriparatide does is that it stimulates bone building cells to create new bone. Side effects include nausea, headache or even dizziness. These are the four broadly classified medicines that can be given to a patient suffering from osteoporosis and in many cases it could even be a combination of two out of these four. Do remember that irrespective of what is chosen, you will have to supplement with calcium and vitamin D3 throughout this entire treatment. Calcium is extremely important to strengthen the bone and vitamin D helps absorb it. However, you have to make sure that calcium and vitamin D3 supplementation is also done in the correct dose. So make sure to speak to your doctor about this as this too can have side effects if taken in a higher dose. Excessive calcium can lead to kidney and heart issues whereas excessive vitamin D can lead to toxicity in your body. Now do keep in mind that no medical management of osteoporosis will will be effective unless you make certain lifestyle decisions yourself. These include number one, exercising, lifting weights and doing strength training is the perfect way to increase your muscle mass and preserve your bone density. You have to lift weights at least three times a week for 30 minutes a day. Number two, you have to quit smoking and quit alcohol intake at all costs. And number three, eat whole foods and nutritious meals rich in protein and fiber and make sure to include calcium and vitamin D in your foods as well. You now have all the information you need to ensure you get treated for osteoporosis or someone in your family gets the right treatment for osteoporosis. Take all this information and speak to your doctor about it. The idea of this video is not to self-prescribe but to be armored with all the knowledge and information so you can have a healthy conversation with your orthopedic doctor. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Do drop a comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer them myself. 
please do share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.